Hi everyone and welcome back to the Southerners Northern Garden. So I wasn't going to do a video today, but I had Plant Happy Mail come in, which we all get very excited when Plant Happy Mail comes in. Um, so I needed to get these plants out of their container, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to introduce you to one of my favorite garden centers and a place that I order online plants from for fairly cheap. Uh, they provide a great bargain, although the plants you're getting are small. So. This is my go-to place if I have any varieties in my area that I can't find. Um, so I ordered four different plants today, which is a relatively small order for me from them. Um, last order was quite large, but um, uh, my garden is getting quite full. And so until I, full, uh, until I um, make some more beds, I'm gonna have a difficult time finding places to put things. So. So the garden center is called Hertz Gardens. Uh, I love them. Last year when I went to visit Laura from Garden Answer in Cleveland, right before the pandemic hit, I stopped by because they're lo located in Cleveland and I just had to stop by and look at the actual setup while I was there. So it was a very well oiled machine. Uh, it was very nice to see all the beautiful plants they had and to walk around. It was the middle of February when I went, so they were nice enough to take me out back where they had closed down some of the greenhouses uh, because the plants weren't actively growing and allowed me to pick out some items that they weren't otherwise selling at the time necessarily. So that was a great experience. Uh, it's my go-to place for all things proven winter shrubs. Uh, if I need something small or if I just don't have a bunch of money to spend on something or I'm not concerned about the size of something, um, I will go there. Typically I like to buy the biggest plants I can find, but quite honestly, uh, if I can't find a variety, particularly if it's a new Proven Winners variety, I can't locate it um, very easily that year. So this company, Hertz, usually has those varieties the year that they come out. So I've got a couple here. Um, I ordered some honey berries that I could not find online. Um, of any good size. So a lot of the quart sizes for these were anywhere from 20 to $30. And I paid $15 for these plants from Hertz. Now, that's quite expensive from Hertz. So a lot of the, the shrubs that I buy from them, I pay like $7.99, $8.99. They have a very good sale. So check often um, and check early in the season and you'll be able to get a lot of varieties. They have an extensive number of plants um, from the Proven Winners line. So this variety right here, this is actually a Zuzu ornamental cherry, which I have not seen in stores anywhere. Uh, it's a beautiful, I'll show a picture online of what it looks like, but you may be able to see it here a little bit. Um, so it's a cherry tree essentially, but it's more of like a bush form, so it doesn't get very tall and it produces these beautiful cherries in the spring. So as you can see, it's a very tiny plant, but I paid $15 for this um, and it'll take a while to get anywhere, but I can stick it somewhere in my garden, tuck it away uh, and it will grow on just fine. I'm going to keep these protected until um, later spring. But after that time, I will set them out in the garden. Sometimes in these instances, I will actually buy the plants um, late winter, so February or January, and I will pot them up in my basement and let them grow on until spring when they're ready to set out. Um, so I've got a couple more here. So I've actually ordered five different varieties. Um, this is a Celtic Pride. Siberian Cypress. Sorry about the tape noise. These come pretty well packaged. So as you can see, once again, it's a very, very tiny shrub, but they tape all the soil very nicely so it doesn't get loose. And this is what this one will look like. This one actually gets quite large. I'm kind of excited about it just to have some evergreen interest in my garden somewhere. That's one thing I'm seriously working on um, in my garden because uh, my garden, as I've mentioned, is mostly three years old. When we moved into the home, we ripped everything out. So nearly everything that you see, other than uh, the very mature trees, is all brand new. So let's go on to the next one. I like that they include the full tags that you would get um, 
if you purchased at the garden center uh, instead of tiny nameplates. That's very, very nice. This is, I assume, this one that was mentioned. It's a Yesberry honey bunch berry uh, plant. It's a Japanese, they produce these little berries. They're supposed to be really delicious, kind of like a cross between a blackberry, a raspberry, and a blueberry. Um, so I'm actually thinking about putting these in containers um, and then planting them on just my patio this year until they get a little bigger. This is a smaller variety. They only get three to four foot tall and wide. Some of the bear, some of the um, Yasberry line gets, you know, six to eight feet tall and wide. And I just don't have room in my garden to put something like that. So they'll be nice in containers on the patio. It's very windy today. Um, we have just gotten some terribly cold weather. So I had to bring in a couple things I'd set out. Like I said, it's still early from our frost, but uh, still early until our last frost, but we still, it's, it's warming up quite quickly. This is a sugar pie yesberry. Um, it's a brother or sister variety to the honey bunch and they get about the same size. And so it'll provide a great pollinator because in these two, they'll produce berries on their own. But if you have a similar berry that blooms at the same time, uh, it will allow them to produce more berries and bigger berries for you. And last but not least, um, this is a Gold Splash Winter Creeper. It's a newer Euonymus uh, introduced by Proven Winners. You can see it has beautiful variegation there. Uh, I'm very excited to get this into the garden. Um, it is a creeping variety, so I believe it will provide a nice ground cover. And I'm thinking about sticking it in a shady spot um, and seeing how it does this year and how much it spreads. It'll be really interesting, so follow along if you want to see that. Here's what it looks like when it gets larger um, and the variety name. So thank you for joining me today on my plant mail. It was very exciting to get this stuff in. I wasn't expecting to get it this soon. I ordered it earlier this week and Hertz is very quickly to get out their products. So if you order something from them, um, expect to get it soon. So everyone's expecting this year to be a crazy gardening year. If you're looking for a specific variety of a proven winter shrub, um, go ahead and check out Hertz Gardens. Dot com. I'll put a link below. They have nearly any variety you could think of. Just make sure you're checking your correct zone that you're getting your plants in. They are located in Ohio, so they carry most plants are good in our zone, zone six. Um, but you just want to make sure they're not offering something that is outside of your zone. They list all the plant details. And if you can't find a specific plant detail, Google it and look at Proven Winners website. They also offer a lot of great house plants. Uh, I've not ordered any house plants from them, but I've seen them since I was up there last year in Cleveland. Definitely check those out as well. They had some beautiful stuff. So thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.